By this point, you've seen how we are modeling the partnership we want to see between caseworkers and families by working together with Rosa and Steven to find solutions. The changes we make in our culture are stronger when we engage with our partners outside of the agency too as we plan improvements. So here's Joe. He's the Court Improvement Program Lead on our team. What are the changes you've noticed over this past year, Joe? Well, it's clear that families are more involved in planning now. We're not seeing the business as usual or cookie-cutter family plans at the hearings that we used to. We're seeing more plans that are tailored to each family's needs, with a variety of services more appropriate for the identified needs, and even including informal support resources. I saw an eco-map in a case file recently, something the caseworker made with the family to find their natural supports instead of plugging in a paid service. And on the court report form, we noticed that caseworkers are sometimes meeting in a family's home instead of in the agency office. When you go into the courtroom, the most apparent difference is the way caseworkers interact with the family at court. They're more involved. The parent partner service is a real game changer. Having a parent partner in court with parents who need guidance makes it easier for them to hear and understand what's happening and what's required of them. Parents are now speaking up and asking more questions in court. Seeing the parents more involved, the judge is engaging with them more too. The work group keeps looking into strategies to break down some of the themes we saw in the surveys and make our whole system support family involvement. More people are now attending hearings since we started sending out hearing notices to the resource family, the birth family, and their kin. Even youth participate. If they can't be there, they write letters. We're busting myths about it being bad for youth to be in court. It's empowering. They see how people are working hard for them, how their parents get to share their progress and ask for help if they need it. Youth are sharing their perspective in real time and are starting to feel that they have a say in what happens to them. The professionals are more accountable when the youth are there to hear what everyone is supposed to do. We think we're headed in the right direction. The data tells us we're starting to see cases go through the system quicker, and we have shorter times to reunification. Local courts have begun sharing aggregate data around what types of petitions are being seen at hearings, looking at continuances that may be holding up the process how families and youth are showing up and participating in hearings, and figuring out together how this serves family outcomes. Local data dashboards are helping us to see what might be causing delays in adoptions or in reunification, and then we can plan actions to mitigate problems. Not everything moves forward smoothly, and some judges are more comfortable with the old way of doing things without hearing from family and youth. But as we work together and track the data, we are building our case to keep moving forward. Thanks, Joe. What we are seeing is a reflection of how our culture is shifting to be more family-focused. How are you working with your court system to engage families and youth? How are you using data to inform your decisions? What did you see here that might work for your agency? Next up, you'll hear from the caseworkers you met earlier, so they can tell you about the changes they've observed and how it feels to be a part of this change. <laughs>